What's up, Gemini Gang? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Mm hmm. Yes. All right. Let's see what is going on with you, dear Geminis. Um, all Gemini placements take what resonates and leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation, okay? Personals on the description box, you guys. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so we have cut down. Mm -hmm. Cutting out, separation, stop the pattern and silent treatment. Ooh, I've been kind of getting that energy for you guys here lately. Then we have love. Aww. So we have unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction and selflessness. Mm-hmm. Then we have love call, mm -hmm. expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Well then, then we have engagement. Well, engagement ring. <laughs> then we have higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union and completion. Okay, let's see what's going on. We have the chaser here uh, on the bottom. I have to remember that the camera's the opposite way on this side. So, um, interesting, Gemini's, are you about to be chased? I don't know, man. Let's see what's happening. Um, now we do have the self-love here. So some of you guys have redirected yourselves to self-love. Um, very few of you. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. All right, so let's see what is going on, Gemini's. I feel like you may have, uh, you start ignoring someone, I feel like, because I'm seeing the si silent treatment. I feel like you may have started ignoring someone. Y'all, excuse my Fitbit, but I'll be forgetting to take it off during the videos. But, um, <clears throat> Gemini's, I feel like, yeah, you did. Dang. Five of Pentacles, you did cut somebody off. Oh, well, um, there may be a money problem, too, going on here. Give a nice. But, yeah, someone feels, like, left out in the cold by you, or you feel left out in the cold. Take it how it resonates with you. I feel like some of you guys are kind of wanting to switch things up. And, um, this person may have been part of it. Ooh, the death card. Well, yeah, some of you did end something with someone. The magician here on the bottom. Now, that could be a transformation of some sort. Okay, we'll see as the reading goes. But yes, I'm feeling like someone feels left out in the cold by you, uh, Gemini's. But this could also be the end of that. Oh, thank you, Spear, for that. Thank you. So with the Five of Pentacles being here, the death being after the Five of Pentacles, I feel like it's an end to this energy and you're coming into an equal give and take uh, with the Six of Pentacles here. And the Queen of Pentacles could be a Capricorn with the Knight of Cups here on the bottom. Okay, so somebody, I feel like, I feel like this is the going to be the end to someone either like breadcrumbing you or someone... Um, not really showing you any love or affection, uh, Gemini. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like someone wants to change, kind of similar to the reading I did yesterday. Like someone wants to change how they treat you or change how they are towards you, uh, Gemini. So take that how it resonates. If they were inconsistent, uh, incons I almost said inconsiderate. If they were inconsistent, um, Gemini's for some of you, they weren't considerate of your feelings. They didn't consider your feelings ever. Uh, so I feel like that's that's what I get because I love how the five is here the five of pentacles the death and then this turns into the six So it's like They want to stop the bread crumbing and go into giving for a lot of you if you cut someone off They know damn well why okay, they know why even though even if they act like they don't when they come back around They may ask you they know why they were uh, They were either left behind cut off blocked or whatever Okay, so just be on the lookout for that because they may ask you, yeah, Hierophant, when I split the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. 
ace of cups mm -hmm. i'm seeing the ten of wands again i saw this earlier when uh i pulled the five of pentacles so i feel like gemini's someone is like burdened especially if you are not talking to someone like it, it's bothering them a lot like your silence is bothering someone gemini's especially if they if they don't know if things are really over with you it's like they they're ready to like treat you better and they know gemini's like i said if if they come around acting oblivious don't don't fall for that don't fall for the okie doke because like i said they know if you if you cut somebody off gemini's and you stop talking to somebody they know um Gemini's two of swords the moon card here mm -hmm. now what I'm seeing here is I feel like number one this kind of gives me a vibe of someone not knowing where they stand but the two of swords can be about like uh wanting peace or wanting a truce of some sort so um the twos are also about balance as well so I'm getting like something heavily balanced because we have the the six of pentacles here which has a scale in the picture and then we have the two of swords it's also about some type of balance so i feel like there needed to be a change in the way that this connection was balanced between you two um gemini's mm -hmm. i knew it the hangman i knew this was gonna come out eventually uh and then the ten of pentacles here on the bottom so yeah someone's seeing something differently seeing something from a different perspective i feel like again this person is well aware that, you know, say, say for instance, your issue with them was they, they didn't give, you know what I mean? You were, you were the one over always extending, overextending and they weren't right. Um, I feel like this person's well aware that, you know, especially if you're the one that cut them off, they're well aware of why you did it. Okay. Um, so I feel like, yeah, this person had some time to think, which is good. Okay, sometimes you have to give people time to think, um, Gemini's. The moon, I feel like, ooh, I feel like someone is planning something, um, like in secret. We have the two of wands here on the bottom. Like someone is planning something, Gemini's. I'm also getting to, like, they're wondering what you've been doing as well. Because in their mind, you know, somebody had to have, like, you know, scooped you up by now, uh, Gemini's. But, yeah, I feel like someone is, like, wanting to, like, surprise you or something. But I'm seeing something very emotional here, too. Like, this person had time to, like, really, really sit with their emotions, even if they didn't want to. Because I'm not seeing someone that, you know, necessarily chose to do this. They didn't choose to, okay, let me, let me self-reflect, like, no. <laughs> this turn this was this happened because they were kind of forced to um gemini's but yeah i also get to this person and i've gotten this for you guys before this person feeling like you do voodoo on them like you've done some type of voodoo on them or you did some type of spell work or something on them <laughs> This person is extremely drawn to you. And they, they know that they're drawn to you. For some of you, they may not even have a clue why. But you it's like you've sparked change with them or if you wanted some type of change with them. Um, Gemini's, yep, I told you. Nine of Swords, yeah. Gemini's, there's that Six of Pentacles again. If you, if you cut somebody off, they are in agony over it, child. Listen, if you're not talking to somebody... They are not in a good position <laughs> at all. Some of you, you cut them out because you didn't feel like it was equal give and take between you two. Because uh, we're seeing this again. So you felt like the connection was out of balance or spirit intervened. Because sometimes spirit will intervene um, if, if something is way out of balance. Because it needs to be in balance, okay? So, yeah, you may have gotten rid of someone because you felt like they weren't giving as much as you, um, <clears throat> Gemini's, or whatever the case may be. You felt like they weren't really putting in enough effort. Take that how it resonates with you. But, uh, child, you, you got somebody in agony here. Okay, I'm not going to take any because I don't know what's what. But I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles. 
the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Chariot. So with this energy, I feel like if you have someone else, I feel like this person may like want you to cut them off. Because, you know, you're you're for me. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like, you know, we're meant to be <sighs> or whatnot. Gemini's. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Queen of Wands is on the top. <clears throat> now it could be them that needs to sever something with someone. Three of Swords, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands. Or again, it could this could represent your person. Uh Gemini's, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, particularly in Aries. Now, I feel like someone is wanting to be a little bit more confident. I'm getting like a confident energy here. Like someone wanting to um, be more assertive with you, uh, Gemini's. But again, the Queen of Wands always gives me kind of like the Queen of Pentacles, like that magic vibe. Like this person thinking that you did something to them. <laughs> Oh gosh, Gemini's. This there's there's like this. Uh, I don't want to say intimidation. They're not, I wouldn't say they're necessarily intimidated by you, Gemini's, but they know you have some type of power over them. Like you have some type of hold on them. So where that you've you've kind of spark changed. The Queen of Wands is also very inspirational. So I feel like you know you may have sparked some type of change with this person. Um, Ace of Pentacles showing up here on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oop. King of Pentacles. I told you. Now we do have a divine pair here. So like I said. I feel like this person is seeing something differently. Six of Wands here on the bottom. This person is seeing something differently. So you are going to get some type of balance from this person. Like they want to match your energy a little bit. Now they could have come in as this Queen of Wands energy at one point. You know, um, wanting the physical, focus heavy on the physical. But I feel like now they want something a little bit more solid and stable. This could also be how they were seeing you. Like they were seeing you as the Queen of Wands. You know, like go having fun, the physical side of it, the passion. But I feel like now they're kind of look towards more because this King of Pentacles looking over here at this Queen of Pentacles right here. So, you know, it's like now they're looking at you as more stable, more solid. <clears throat> Something along the lines of that. I feel like they want to give to you more. Yeah, the world. They want to give more. But this could also be too like this person like ending something. Either you're ending something with someone or they are. Or they did. Take it how it resonates. Uh, Gemini's. Ten of Pentacles. The Temperance on the bottom, y'all. So I feel like could be a Taurus. Uh, seeing Sag here on the bottom, Pisces. Um, a water sign. Heavy water. You guys. Yeah, so like I said... For some of you, yeah, I feel like this person is wanting to settle down. They're wanting to be more. Um, now, like I said, the Queen of Wands could just represent an energy or it could represent you. I feel heavily it represents you, Gemini's, okay? Especially the fact that I always pay attention to what card the court cards come under, too. And this is under the unconditional love, self-love, and wholeness. This is that's the Queen of Wands. The Queen, of, the Queen of Wands, you don't necessarily see. The King and the Queen of Wands is not necessarily the ones you're going to see partnered up. Like that's not the ones. <laughs> Those aren't the court cards that you automatically think partnered up, unless you see the King of Wands. But even then, you're going to be dealing with two people that might be a little bit on the non-committal side right they still like they're together but they like to do their own thing which isn't a bad thing okay um but i feel like a lot of this you, a lot of your energy you directed towards yourself which is which is alchemy she has that black cat and the temperance card here which is alchemy as well so that's why i'd be on y'all about that a lot because if you really want what you want um you want to get what you want um out of life or out of love or out of connections that's that's the way that you have to go about it okay but even if it takes some time, you got to be able to uh, have patience, too, with dealing with love. But I feel like, yeah, you're going to have somebody pursue because now they're looking at something differently. The cheap, the chaser over here, which makes sense with the fear of abandonment. And then it says chasing and codependency. And I kind of get that vibe with the five of pentacles over here, too. Like, there's some type of codependency here with this person, even though if they don't show that. 
but if you if you pulled away they're feeling it like they really really feel your absence um gemini's like they're they're really bothered by your um by you not talking to them or by you blocking them or by you acting funny or acting differently whatever it is yeah but maybe maybe they deserve i don't know <laughs> I told you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I deserve my tank, child. <laughs> I have a really hard time expressing my feelings and emotions. Mm -hmm. I feel like they'll try. Or they'll buy you something. Like, Because this, this is having the expression of love, messages of love, thinking of you. But then there's these pentacle cards under here. So I feel like they may buy you something. That might be their love language is, is uh, material things. Um, but there are emotional cards tied to it, like the hangman, the moon here. So it's like their, their emotions might be, that might be how they show love, uh, Gemini's is through like gifts or material stuff, sometimes the physical. Okay. So take that how it resonates with you. You are all I need. Mm-hmm. Yes. I feel like, too, if this person has been, like, dating or you've been dating, I feel like y'all are going to want to cut everybody else off. Like, this person's willing to, like, cut people off for you. <laughs> I'm ready for real this time. <laughs> I told you. Whatever you did worked, didn't I? So, you know, whatever you did. Now, if you know you didn't do anything, don't take that. Don't take that as it resonates with you because I know how y'all be doing. It's come and be open to receive. Okay. <laughs> Your love heals me. No, literally, uh, Gemini's. I feel like this person feels like it's something magical about you. Walked out of heaven by Jagged Edge. They already think that you got, you put the spells on them. Do you ever think of me? <laughs> oh, goodness. I know somebody that not ever asked me no shit like that. I don't deserve you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told you, for some of you, this person might be having some type of financial stuff going on um yeah what are you hiding i told you this person thinks you're hiding something uh gemini's especially here with the moon it, what did i say earlier that they may feel they feel like you may have moved on uh but yeah i feel like this person may feel like you've moved on um or a lot of times when you're not talking to someone they'll they'll just assume that you've moved on even if that's not the case um I feel like you just kind of directed your energy towards yourself. You didn't necessarily move on. Not yet, but, you know, you're on your way there. <clears throat> I'll do whatever it takes to get you back, get your trust back. Yeah. So that makes sense, too. And I do see that as well. <laughs> Will you wait for me, child, please? <laughs> please forgive me. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this has been like a while. You've been kind of back and forth with this person. Everything I said was genuine. So whatever was said between you two, I feel like, you know, they meant it and, you know, in their own way. Finding my way back. Mm -hmm. All right, Gemini's, hit those likes. Hit that subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.